In this video, we demonstrate how to use a config map to pass configuration information to a container in a pod. So let's begin by inspecting the config map YAML file. Cat web config YAML. So we're defining a config map in the default namespace. And it has two data fields. One is named string, the other one is named path. The string is welcome to my Nginx, and the path, if you remember, is user share Nginx HTML index.html, which is the index page for an Nginx web server. And typically, an Nginx welcome page looks like this. Welcome to Nginx. It has some information and then finally it says thank you for using Nginx. Now what we are trying to achieve is to overwrite this file and rather than displaying welcome to Nginx and all that other information, it will only display welcome to my Nginx. Now let's create the config map. CTL create dash F web config dot YAML. Then the config map has been created. I could use kubectl get config maps. and it displays the web config with two data fields. I can also describe CM is the short version for config maps. I could describe CM web config. And this way I have a better view of the data fields. Path is set to user share nginx html index html. And then string is set to welcome to my nginx. So I will be referencing the path and the string key names from a pod configuration. So anytime I want to make any changes, I can only change stuff in the config map, and then the pod will pick up those changes by referencing this very same path and string keys from the configuration data. Now let's inspect the pods configuration file. So cat app config.yaml. This is a simple pod. It defines a single container running an Nginx image. And inside the container, I'm running a command echo data string into data path. Now, these being environment variables of the container, I'm referencing for the data string variable, I am referencing the web config config map, and I'm referencing the string key from the config map. And the data string will get the value associated with string, which was welcome to my nginx. So I am echoing welcome to my nginx into a data path environment variable, which references the same config map, web config, and references the key path. Again, the path value was user share nginx html index.html. So what this command will do is will echo Welcome to my nginx to the path 
user share nginx html index.html thus overriding the nginx's uh, welcome page now let's create the pod kubectl create dash f app config.yaml the pod was created And now finally, let's verify that the Nginx web server configuration has changed according to the data fields um, provided in the config map. So if I don't want to set up a service to expose this pod, um, I could use a different method to see, to look into the container. I could use kubectl exec. And I will just use a command to cat the new um, index.html file. And as expected, the index.html file of the Nginx web server has been modified according to the configuration set through the config map. And it no longer says, welcome to Nginx and it doesn't provide all of the additional information here. It will only say, welcome to my Nginx. So this was only one of the many methods available to consume config maps inside containers. You could try out other methods by following examples from the official Kubernetes documentation.